You guys, all of martial arts is about yin and yang. When you're sparring, that's the yang. When you're doing form training, also called kata or talu, that's the yin. But it's important to bring the yin feeling into your yang sparring. And it's important to bring the yang fighting into your yin form training. Do the forms like you're fighting and spar with grace like you're doing the forms. Like Muhammad Ali had grace, Bruce Lee had grace. And I'm gonna show you guys a few moves right now that are from the animal styles of form training of Chinese Kung Fu and how they can be done to win the street fight. Let's go through a few scenarios. Now you're number one, your opponent throws that jab right at your face, tries to take you out boxing style. What I find is the most important thing to remember when you're gonna fight on the street is to keep them away from you. Don't have a stance like this. This is good for UFC fighters who are fighting in tournaments with a referee and they have gloves on or boxers who have gloves on. On the street, you have bare hands. This can get used against you. This allows somebody to get in nice and close to you, okay? On the street, I wanna fight with my hands out, whether it's fists or hands, and keep them away from me. This is my first line of defense. So when that jab comes in, just have my hands out and try to deflect it a little bit. Once I deflect it, immediately move into his back where he has no more weapons. I hook on this handle here where his shoulder meets his pec. Hook on the handle, take my left leg, and throw one of the most effective kung fu fighting techniques there is, the sweep. At the same time, pull his shoulder back and take him to the floor. This is quintessential bird style kung fu. Let's do it again. The jab comes in, try to deflect it, move behind, hook on that handle, Pull back with yin while your leg moves forward with yang. Take him down and then run and get out of there. <laughs> this is crucial to being successful with a sweep. Okay, this is DJ's leg. Alright. And you guys don't want to kick him in the heel. That's no no. You don't want to kick him in the knee. That's a no no. You really don't want to kick him in the calf because that'll just Charlie horse and make him angry. Maybe it will dead leg him. You want to kick from the bottom of the calf to the Achilles tendon, somewhere in that area. And since this is soft, and my shin has been doing iron shin for 20 years, it's more dense than it should be. So I'm gonna use my hard shin against his soft calf and Achilles heel, and that's gonna be like a knife cutting through butter. When the jab comes in, try to deflect it, hook on, handle where the shoulder meets the peck. My shin against his Achilles tendon, cut through, Pull him down, and there's no ref. You don't know what he has, a gun or a knife, get out of there. 